Hi everyone, it's Shana J, One Heart Mission. And today I have the absolute privilege and honor to be with my friend Patrick Wise, who is gonna tell us some fun stuff about what he's been getting about mastering the moment. And uh, so I wanted to ask, well, first I wanna thank you for being well, thank here. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hope everyone's doing well and staying in the moment and feeling good and living life. Yeah. So thank you. It's great to, great to finally connect. I know we've been trying to do this for a while. Yeah, yeah. And plus I haven't actually seen you in a while, so this is fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so tell me, you know, this, this last week, you've had quite an opportunity to practice staying in the moment, watch what happens staying in the moment, and really, you know, see how your faith is being shown right back to you and beautiful grace. So would you like to share? Yes, I mean, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, I have had an interesting journey, like a lot of us have, um, been with a lot of different different faiths and, and, and teachers and different stuff like that. But reflecting back on my entire journey, I realized that it's it, the entire journey was for me about staying connected with our intuition, with source, with God, um, with whatever you want to call it. And, and when you are connected, you can't actually really be anywhere else but the moment um you know we get distracted and all, all of that all of that different stuff but um last week it, it, it was a really interesting time things have been bubbling up inside me through all this craziness that we've got going on and what what was coming to me is that the, the real issue is that people are not connected they're not connected to their source to their divinity even to their guts or their intuition, which we know it's probably all the same thing. And if you're not connected, you're definitely not in the moment. And you can be so easily distracted and brainwashed and look for the answers outside of yourself. But this is what I know. And it's, it, it is, it is been more evident than ever since March of 2020 is that the people that I know, including you, um, and, and many of our friends from our, from our old, old days of, of, of oneness, um, a lot of those people are, are just truly connected. And even if, even if I haven't talked to like you or somebody else or a lot of them for five, six, seven years, I call them up and we're right on the same page with everything because you, I mean, to me, truth is a vibration, truth is a frequency and you can feel it. On the big things, you can feel what's what, what's true and what's not. So I've really been thinking and just watching how polarized the world is, the left versus the right, and and, and it's just it's out of control, and and it's getting it's getting to a really dangerous dangerous point. And so I was thinking, or it was bubbling up to me that you know the real the real virus that's happening right now is just that people aren't connected. That's it. Yeah. And, and so if you're not connected, you can, like I said, easily be brainwashed. So it's perkling up, perkling up, but I act on impulse. You know, that's one thing about living in the moment um, that uh, I sometimes I just feel like a total weirdo. And I had to get out of corporate America because they're like, no, you need to plan this, 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 and this. And I was like, I actually can't. Yeah. I can't, I can't live that way. And they're like, well, you have to try. And I'm like, uh, I can't. <laughs> like when you're in the moment, the impulse comes and you follow it. And if the impulse doesn't come, good luck. Yeah. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, my boss was one of my really good friends. And I think I made her life hell for four years. Poor, poor thing. But anyway, um, so the impulse last Wednesday was to turn on Tucker Carlson. Mm -hmm. And I don't normally watch the news. And, and I don't normally watch all that stuff, because it just gets me all fired up. But there was a couple things I thought he was going to talk about that, that like stuff going on in Georgia that was going to that was going to interest me. So that's what I thought that I was turning it on for, but I, it wasn't that uh, they did a story on the military and the border and stuff. But then he, but then he says, Tucker goes, you know, today in our second segment with 5 million people watching on a Wednesday night, I did this interview with John Voigt, the actor today. And I was like, what? Cause I didn't know. I don't know anything about John Voigt other than I enjoy his acting. And, and Tucker said, you know, something happened that really surprised me and I have to share it with you. 
I was like, this is so bizarre. What's going on? So goes to the next episode and, and Tucker says, you know, John Voigt's a conservative. And he said, so the reason we thought we were interviewing him was because we wanted to ask him what it's like to be one of the only conservative people in Hollywood. He said, but, it, but immediately the, it took a, the interview took such a surprising turn and it blew my mind. So I'm going to share it with you. I'm like, well, this is intriguing. So I'm like, what's going on? So John Voigt starts talking about how when he was younger and life wasn't going well, I think he'd had a divorce or, or just things weren't going well. And he was down on his knees and he was screaming. And he's like, God, why does this have to be so hard? And he said, I heard a physical voice, the physical voice of God in my ear that said, it's supposed to be this hard, you know? And that was, that was his deal, but he had a God moment. He had a spiritual moment. And Tucker was like, well, how did you feel after that? He said, it's the first time in my life that I felt connected to something greater than myself. He goes, I prayed because my parents prayed, but I didn't think anybody was listening. He said, but once, once, once this happened, he goes, I knew that I was taken care of, that, that, that there was this, whatever it is that's out there, loves me and cares about the details of my life, cared that I got a divorce or, you know, what, whatever it is. So he said, I felt great. I felt, he's like, I never felt that much energy and that much joy in my life. And he said, and then the next morning I turn on the radio and this song comes on that's about a stair, stair every day a new stair will be built to paradise. And he's like, it was about God. It was amazing. And as he's talking, I literally have tears running down my face because I, we've, you know, I've had those moments, those moments where it's unmistakable, however it looks, whether it's a, a voice, a feeling, a, a coincidence, that you know that there's something magical happening. And as the tears are rolling down my face, I'm like, okay, it's time to start this conversation. So I just posted that video and, and I said, um, something along the lines, anybody who's followed me on Facebook, uh, I, I'm very outspoken. That's just the way that I speak the truth. I speak not the truth, excuse me. I speak what's true for me and I speak it very, uh, passionately, but that I said, listen, I want to start focused on solutions. What are the solutions here? And I, I said, I think this is a really good place to start. And so just some other comments and I got in a couple conversations with people and one of the ladies that responded to one of my posts, she's a Tony Robbins trainer, a business trainer, very successful, just an incredible lady. And she, she asked me, she goes, okay, it's great if we're aware of all the things going on. She goes, we're aware of, of all the nefarious happenings and with the children and all this stuff. She goes, well, what do we do about it? What's the strategy? What's action step one, action step two, action step three? I was like, that's a great question, you know, and being from the corporate world, I get it. Like it's, what do we do? Right. So I answered, I said, we have to speak up. We have to speak out. I've had so many people message me privately and say, thank you for saying what you're saying. Thank you for doing what you're doing publicly. I can't because of my husband or my wife or my kids or my job or my immigration status. And I get that. And I, I'm not judging anybody on that because I'm not in that situation. But I, I, I know it's horrible. It's horrible that that's the way it is, that people feel like they, if they speak their truth, they'll get canceled. So then she said, yeah, Patrick, I get that. We're doing that. She goes, you do it every day. You speak, you speak it every day. But what do we do? What's the next step? And I was like, so I just kind of got quiet and this answer flowed out. The only step is to get connected. And when you get connected and however that, that is for you, whether it's prayer, meditation, nature, you know, time with your family, it, it, it's different for everybody in my experience. You know, for me, it shows up in signs and coincidences and, and all of that. But when you are connected, the right answer for you in that moment bubbles up. And you might meet somebody or make a phone call that you haven't made in a while. You might meet a random stranger that has, you have this perfect connection. And then the, then if we do that individually, and then we get together and we're guided in, in our groups, and then we all get connected as a group, and then those actions will, will be the right actions. And that's the only thing we can do. Because if we could have solved it from the mind, we wouldn't be in this situation. Right. Let me just add something to what you're saying. Absolutely. I, so the progression for me is what you said with the little piece in between called 
when you're vibrating with your connection, your vibration will naturally attract you to people who want to do the same thing you want to do. Absolutely. And then when you gather together, the, the energy and frequency magnifies bringing more people and everybody's listening to their guidance and you're all now in a group doing, yeah. A million percent. That's, yeah. exact, that's exactly it. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's literally the only thing we can do. And we need help. We need help from 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 this from from god or higher whatever you call it i mean um we we need help and so i got really passionate in a massive amount of people too because yeah we are the help that we need <laughs> yes yes absolutely absolutely what and for the last 20 years waking up people we've been doing this for 20 years yeah yeah uh, yeah practices and connection and more connection and, and meeting the light with the dark, with the light. And so because we've been doing this, now this is our next step. Is Absolutely. Stay connected. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so that was last Wednesday. And, or I guess, so that would have been, I don't know, is today Friday? This is, yeah. this is the funniest thing. It's like, okay, today's Friday. So it was, you know, nine days ago, those nine days, I mean, I can't even tell you. I mean, I had a, I now call it a John Voight moment um, that, that happened spontaneously on Wednesday night. I can't really go into a lot of it and I don't want to get your YouTube channel in trouble because it has to do with um, certain medicines that people are doing crazy things with and all that. But um, needless to say, uh, the business that, I, that I'm in is a, these little frequency devices um, that are absolutely amazing. And they've just made a big switch in, how, in, in, our, in our business plan and business model and all of that. And again, I work on impulse. Like when I'm in the moment, if the impulse is like, do this, I do that, you know? And I hadn't had really the impulse to look into the new, uh, the new changes and all that. Well, Thursday night I did. And I went in and I was really studying and I was getting away and some of the stuff I didn't like what I saw. And so I, I started writing from my heart, my truth from a business background. Hey, here's what's going on. I think we should, you know, we should try this or do that or blah, blah, blah. But I was speaking my truth. I was in the moment speaking my truth. And that's what I thought that I was. That's what I thought that I was doing. Well, it turns out that I, that I, uh, I wanted to say something nice in the letter because it's like I don't I didn't want it to be all bad things. So um, with our business, we have a new on, we have a new online shop, and it looks nice and pretty. But I hadn't purchased anything, so I was like, well, I better run on there and purchase something real quick, and hopefully it's a good experience and I can say something nice. So I went in, I downloaded this frequency program that works with like anti aging and epigenetics and the pineal gland, and so it was perfect. So I wrote something nice and I was like, Ooh, I want to use it. This is a new toy. And so um, with this, you can scan yourself and it will tell you what you need the most in that moment. Quantum technology. It's really awesome stuff. And the number one thing that came up for me was pineal gland. And for those of you, I'm sure your audience definitely knows what the pineal gland, the, the, what, what it has to do with spirituality, but it's really our connection with, with, with the divine, with our spirit. If it's not working properly, you know, which most people's aren't because of fluoride and all this other stuff. Um, they literally can't hear the divine. So I'm running the pineal program and I'm looking through another app where we can search different, you know, we can search different ailments like hair loss and acne and stuff like that. And, and from our medical board, it will tell us what frequencies we can run. And so I was messing around with it and I was like, well, how do I get the pineal gland to come up in there? And I was like, oh, I'll type in spirituality. So I typed in SP for spirituality, and I saw that the company has a, a program to help people that are having issues with spike proteins, and you know, which is, uh, which is one of those things out there. I'm sure people can go research it on their own. I won't say any more about that. But when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, because my family members have, have, have um, I don't know if I don't want to get, get us in trouble, but they've gotten it. And it's, it, it's been so frustrating for me because uh, once somebody has it, it's like, well, what do you, if I don't have a solution, what are you going to say? Like, 
what do you say? And so all of a sudden I realized, oh my God, I, I have a possible thing that could help making no claims or anything like that, but it possibly could help in my hand. And I just started bawling oh. and just realizing how frustrated that, that I'd been with the whole thing. And I was like, through just following my, following my truth and my guidance, this comes up. And I just, it just, it, it was exactly what you just said. And it's exactly what I've been writing is just when we stay in our, in the moment and we're connected, the right thing comes along. We don't have to, I, I didn't know that that was there. And I was like, how did I not know that that was there? I didn't know that was there, but it was just the, the right timing. And so then just one thing after another just kept happening. And, you know, when you stay in the moment and I connected with people that I haven't connected with in a long time. And as we talked and we got connected and we were in the moment together, then other ideas bloomed up you know, such as I'm starting a podcast, which I, three days ago, I didn't even really know what a podcast was, you know, crazy, crazy things, but it's just, it's so beautiful because, you know, in the West, we like instant feedback, instant gratification. That's one of our, that's one of our issues here. But when you get to a point where you are so connected to whatever you call that, um, you know, you get instant feedback when you follow, when you follow the guidance and you stay in the moment and you ask the right questions, the answers, the answers always come. It's just a matter if you're listening or you're paying attention. That's so right. hopefully I did that in a way that's. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you're fine. You're totally We're like walking a line, walking a line. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I think you got the, the point. Okay. So I, I will make the point uh, is to, for, to watch listening to your story, how many things were right in the moment and you followed it right in the moment and it was an impulse right in the moment that kept leading you to the next thing and that's the gift of mastering the moment absolutely yeah absolutely and it's not easy you know it, it's 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 not it, yeah well, i'm just gonna say if you reflect on it and you just look at what happened over the last you know whatever time you can go you can actually see I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, that absolutely. was not me. Something was guiding me, showing me, you know, helping me to move forward. Because who you are and who I am, we're leaders of a, of a certain amount of people. We don't have to know how many people or why, but we, but we follow for that reason, because we are not afraid to share even though you have to be careful of your wording sometimes. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And I think something that we were talking about previously, I think it makes a good point. People have to realize that, that divine guidance, divine guidance is not of this society, is not of this world. So a lot of times, you know, people, they'll get in the moment, they'll get connected, they'll hear, I mean, sometimes they're little, they will literally even hear God's voice say, okay, on Wednesday, I need you to go and quit your job and you're going to go get a job here. And so they, they, they were in the moment, they got the message loud and clear. And then they heard the, they heard the, the, the guidance and it was like, I don't want to do that. No. And so the thing is, that's where it gets tricky. It, it, it's tricky to, to hear the guidance, to, 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 to know the difference between is this really guidance or is this my ego just wanting to, you know, do, do that. But, but, you know, so that's the thing I had a, if you want me to share, I can share one experience where that it was very, very um, clear. I was living in Maui and this was when I was, you know, uh, in oneness and, you know, with Amma Bhagwan and there's very, very, very strong connection and absolutely beyond grateful for, for all of, all of that. But I was in a meditation on a Wednesday night at the Maui Yoga Studio. This is no joke. I think we were doing Kun Loon or something. It was, it's like a Tibetan energy practice. And uh, so I do that. I'm on the ground in, in, in Shavasana laying down. And Bhagwan comes to me, clear as day in my vision. He says, you need to, to leave Maui. You need to move to Cancun, Mexico. And you're going to work at the at the Westin Laguna Mar resort there and shows me a picture of it in my mind's eye. I was 
like, but I was, so, I was, it was one of those meditations where we were all blissed out. So I, it didn't really dawn on me until I was driving home and I was telling my girlfriend, I was like, I think I just got a really strong message that I have to leave Maui and move to Mexico. And I mean, my place in Maui is the most beautiful place I ever lived. It, it's in the jungle. It, it was surrounded by trees. I had an outdoor shower. I had, you could go out and grab papayas and avocados and bananas. It was a good life. And I had no intention of leaving. I had a good, I had a great job. I had my girlfriend. I had, everything was great. And then I get this, like, you need to move to Cancun. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't want to. But I'm like, oh, I know what happens if I don't listen. So I knew like three or four people in Cancun. So I was like, well, I don't want to go, but I'll email them and see what they're doing and how they like it there. That's like me making an effort. And none of them responded to me. So I'm like, oh, 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 they didn't respond. I guess it's not meant to be. But in the back of my mind, I know, I don't know what's going to happen next. So this is about six, six weeks later, something along those lines. I get home. Now, I, I worked, if, if anybody's familiar with, with Maui, I worked in the Kanapali side on the west side, but I lived on the entirely other side. Oh. So the longest commute I've ever had for work was when I was living on an island in Maui. My yeah. commute was one hour each way, yeah. but beautiful drive, so no complaints. Yeah. Anyway, I get home, and to get down to my cabin, it's almost impossible to give people directions because it was on a land with a bunch of cabins. You have to come down, go around, go up, nowhere to turn. I get home, there's a stock of bananas on my porch and there's a note underneath. And I pick up the note and it says, I need you to call me right away. I was guided to your door today and I'm not sure why. Um, thank you, my name's Rosario, here's my phone number. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> and so I was like, all right. I was, like, I was like, well, this is weird. I mean, it'd be weird anywhere, but like I'm in a secluded place. So, so I call her right away. And, you know, she says, hi, my name's Rosario. She goes, I have to tell you, she goes, you're going to think I'm a complete weirdo. I'm like, trust me. No, I won't. I've, I've had some things. And she said, she said, well, I work in a, I work at the Ritz Carlton um, um, in massage therapy, um, but I've also done hotel marketing. And that's also what I've done is, is, is resort marketing. But she said, I was driving home from work. And when I had to I, I was driving and when I was going to turn right to go on my road, my car wouldn't turn, physically wouldn't turn. And she goes, and it scared me, but she goes, I got guidance from inside um, uh, my teacher. And, and, and she goes, I know we have the same teachers. I'm a Bhagwan because I saw their picture on the wall. Oh. And, I, and I was like, oh, this is not good. Where is this going? I'm like, crap. But it was amazing at the same time. <clears throat> so she said, I was guided turn by turn to your front door. She said, like, and she goes, I, she goes, you probably think I'm completely crazy. And I was like, well, no, because I have the note and I'm on the phone with you. Right. So I said, well, I said, well, what's your story? She says, well, she goes, I've lived in Maui for, uh, I think, four or five years. I came here to do massage school, but it hasn't really worked out. So I've been working at the Ritz Carlton. And she said, but she goes, I had some guidance and a meditation a couple of weeks ago that I need to move back home to be with my mom. I need to move back home to Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> and I, and I, I was just like, what did you just say? And she said, I said, did you say Cancun, Mexico? She goes, yeah, I'm from Cancun. And that's where, that's where I'm going back to. Tears roll down my face of just amazement. First of all, and you know, okay, well, I can't argue with that. So I, I call up my, my girlfriend, I call up my, my boss, and I call up my parents. I was like, well, I guess I'm moving to Cancun. And, but anyway, on the phone with her, I said, well, I know why you were brought to my house. I said, because I had very strong guidance six weeks ago that I was supposed to move to Cancun, and I've ignored it. So you were the messenger. She started screaming so loud on the phone. Yes, 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 Patrick. Yes, yes. She, and I'm like, what is going on? I had to pull the phone away. She said, I was supposed to tell you that you're supposed to come to Cancun with me. She goes, but I was afraid to tell you because you think I was a freak. She goes, but yes, 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 you're supposed to come to Cancun. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I did. I moved to, I, it was a year later, I, I left Maui and this beautiful paradise and, and went to 
Cancun, Mexico, and it was all perfect. And it, I, 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 looking back on it, there's no other way that it could have been. It could, it could have been. But I did. I, I was in the moment. I was connected, and I did not like the guidance that I was receiving. Yeah. So I try. I tried to refuse it. I tried to just ignore it, and it doesn't work. So after that, needless to say, after that day, I it, whatever the guidance says, I do it. And if it's crazy, it's crazy. And some people would look at my life and be like, "You're a complete disaster," and I'm like, "But I'm a I'm a happy, peaceful, complete disaster." There you go. So, there you go. Anyway, but, I can kind of see the whole reasoning that they brought the two of you not knowing each other, but both mm -hmm. from oneness. Yeah. The, you know, the frequency you were carrying was yes. something, whatever they wanted you to do over there. So, yes, wow. indeed. Oh, that's awesome. Mastering the moment, man. It's, yep. it's just, if you can take it on, there's so much grace. You get to live the more you practice it because you have to practice it because we have a mind. Yeah. But the more you do, the more grace comes. And when you open your eyes to see the grace that wants to be given to you just by following this, this is one of the most valuable conversations that I've had for mastering the moment. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy to hear that. It's beyond what's written in books. It's beyond what normal people talk about to you know to live in the moment this what we're talking about is actual experiences that will propel people hopefully inspire people to really take it on seriously because of the time that we're in right now yeah i, I mean there's nothing more important and, it, and it's it's interesting because i just did my first podcast today and I just really gave an introduction and the, that is that is what I'm going to talk about. And there's no one way or right way or the best way to get connected and be in the moment, whatever, whatever feels right to you, do it, you know, and but uh, but again, my, my main message is you got to really learn, you got to really experience it and trust it. And you hit the nail on the head when you do start to notice it. When you do start to notice just the little things, little things that happen, the, the, the car parking spot opened up for you, or you know, be grateful, be grateful for that. Somebody and, thought of called you. Yeah. 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 And the more uh, the more great the more grateful you are, you know, the little things turn into to full fledged miracles. And miracles aren't supposed to be rare. Miracles are supposed to be how we live our life. Right. And so. You know, the more you can master the moment in your own way and, and just really get, figure out your way to get convicted in it, yeah, yeah life's magical. And we, we are guided every step of the way. And it's, it's everybody's getting guided. We don't have the, you know, we're not special. That's everybody, true. everybody gets guided every moment. It's just most people can't hear it. That's most true. people can't see it. That's right. And so, and so taking our, our massive population right now, and moving it out of doubt and into connection that, you know, it can seem like a huge jump for a lot of people, even for us, you know, and we've been practicing it. It's still a jump because you have to, you have to do something with your mind to move those old thoughts of doubt out of the way so that you can continue to open up and stay in your frequency that keeps you in your divine. And, absolutely yeah and so so because we are such a mass population right now i think this is our calling it really feels like our calling you know all of us at the collective to because we need to ban in different ways and everybody has a different piece of the puzzle that they're playing so this is kind of, this is information that I got when I fell was uh, uh, 24 years ago now. And that the piece of the puzzle that you play and I play may not be the same one, but it's a piece that's so important. If we just keep resonating and keep connecting with that frequency, the others will come and we will then have groups and gathering where the frequency expands it doesn't matter so much the doingness it matters more the frequency that we're absolutely 
as a as a gathering. So. I mean, exactly is exactly how I feel, and and not only feel but experience. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I just we just have to keep having the conversation, and you know, my idea for my podcast is just talking to people from all across the spectrum. Just how do they connect? You know, and um, and some people some people don't believe in God, and some people are angry at God because they had a horrible tragedy, and so you know that's where they're at. And so, for those people, I'm just like, well, do you ever have like a gut feeling, or do you ever like follow you know your intuition, or have that sixth sense? Well, yeah, I have that. Okay, focus on that. Don't don't worry about the rest of it. Right. You know, and so yeah, I just I, it's so important that we have these conversations and just keep reminding ourselves because you never know who you're going to inspire by by what by excuse me what we what you say or what you do and and we're also moving into such a powerful energy. You know, there are all these technologies on the planet that have been available and have been suppressed. And it's like, if you can find something that works with vibrations, frequencies, you know, all kinds of things, there's all sorts of tools out there, you know, and, and just ask. That's the thing that people don't do a lot. Sometimes all you need is to ask, yeah. ask, ask, and you, the answers come. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, Patrick, you're amazing. I am not gonna be able to sleep. I, I've been, I was telling her, before that I've been working on this podcast and I've probably worked like 40 some hours on it in the last two and a half days. And anybody that really knows me there, they know I don't like to work. Um, but it's so fun. It's like, and that's another, like when you're doing something that you know, you're supposed to be doing and you're guided, it doesn't feel like work. So I was telling her, I've just kept going and going and going. Luckily I have my energy frequency running, but I've, I've been up for about 23 hours now and like having this conversation and I can feel we're connecting. Like I'm going to be up for two days, <laughs> but it's okay. We'll get stuff done. And then when I sleep, I'll sleep really good. <laughs> I, just, so funny. I just noticed that I went closer and closer and closer and closer. And I'm like, Oh my God, we're just, woo. Yeah. I can feel it. It's, Cause we were supposed to do this three hours later. And I, as I was going, I was like, oh, we better, I was like, can you do it earlier? Because I don't know if I'll still be awake then. And yeah, I would have been awake because I'm not going to sleep anytime soon. <laughs> it's so well, fun. But see, it, it's fun when you connect. And it's, it it's, is. It you know, is. And, it's and so it's great. Also fun, um, I think you would, you would say too, like I say with, to me, people that are really have the same thought waves, it's like we're, um, you know, and when we share, it's like you're saying my words or I'm, you know, I'm sharing somebody else's words, not having ever spoken to them before or not at this level or on this subject. And it's just amazing to me how many of us are uh, mobilized at this time and, and we're taking it very seriously because this is a very serious time that we're in. It is, it, yeah, it, it, you know, it is. And, um, you know, a lot of my friends, they, they, they've never seen me like I've been the past seven or eight months. And they're like, you're so intense. And it's like, you're coming from this dark place. And I'm like, no, the planet's dark right now. That's what it is. So when the planet's dark, if you're really being in the moment, you know, we're so afraid and, and I'll be very, very, very candid, you know, from October until, you know, six weeks ago, like I was not in a good place. I was in a dark night of the soul. I was doing it, but it, what was so beautiful is that it was still guided the entire time. And my guidance was basically said, you will never have another time in your life when you can really stay with this, you can really feel, really be in the moment, even though it's painful, because you don't have to go to, a, you, you've, you've had to go to a job for the past 23 years. Now you're able to, to work from home. So the guidance was to stay in it and, and feel it and move through it. And, you know, I think a lot of spiritual traditions, they, they talk about if you stay with the feeling that it'll eventually move through. Well, you know, I've, I've, I've had it last for a couple hours or maybe even a day, but not seven months. Come on, God. But I knew that it was that, that I would, that we would come out the other end, you know, but it's so interesting that even people that are, that are connected and, and have some spiritual stuff, like everybody wanted to 
give me a session and heal me and and do it do this session or that session and my guidance was clear no, no. i need to, i need to feel this i need to experience what this is and that's it and that's not easy to do but it's it's you know i i think people judge themselves you know when when you're in a place of yeah. of of hurt or you're in a place of of uncomfortableness you know it's just we just want to get out of it we want to get out of it and sometimes you just got to go through it and your guidance if you're connected your guidance will tell you um your guidance will tell you so be easy with yourselves be easy with yourselves it's so important what you're saying right now you definitely have to go through it the light will transform the dark every time if you allow the dark to be there absolutely and again it's one of the hardest parts it's one of the hardest parts because sometimes your guidance will take you straight into the depths of hell in yourself showing you the worst things you've ever done the worst thoughts you've ever had and it's uncomfortable and it's painful and and sometimes the guidance will take you there and you're like no thank you okay where's my where's my ice cream Right. Exactly. You know, but you got to you got to just if, if you're being guided to be there, be there, be in that. And exactly. amazing things happen. Amazing things happen. I'll share with you a quick story uh, of something that happened to me earlier this year where I, you know, I, I actually in, uh, recognize pretty quickly when I'm going through a dark night mm -hmm. because an energy comes. I don't like it. And I stay with it, and then I don't like it when it keeps staying, and it stays longer, and I still don't like it. Yeah. That I know. Oh, got it. <laughs> okay. So earlier this year, for about two months, it was like March, April time, I started having this feeling that I've never felt before, and it was. I kept asking, "What is this feeling?" It was. It was dark because because it wasn't light, you know, I mean, I didn't have any thoughts about it, though, not one, no memories, I go, okay, you know, let me see, no, nothing was coming up for me to see, so I kept asking, well, what is this, and they just kept, kept saying, just keep feeling it, just keep feeling it, so I did, and I could feel myself going deeper mm -hmm. into it, and, I, and it, it wasn't really expressing anything, or showing me anything it just kept being deeper this is kind of hard to imagine but anyway it's that's exactly what i experienced yeah. i'm telling you exactly that was my experience so i um i finally started seeing some memories and they were memories of who i used to be before i connected to my true self and I just kept forgiving myself and going, okay, thank you for showing me that. And, you know, it didn't seem very important until I realized that what I had been praying for was to meet people. I've been in this new area for almost a year and not met anybody that I could talk to, not much less talk to on the level you and I are talking right now. Sure. So uh what it was was this deep sense of being disconnected from people as a human we need connections so i i always thought that was bs when i heard it. but when i felt it i was like holy cow this is what i had been hearing we need to have relationships because we're human and mm -hmm. that deep connection when you don't have them you you know you feel a void or you feel you know whatever's there so this is so so great the way it turns around i just kept going for it going for it and then i was in the last three day with with my teachers and they i don't we were doing what we always do you know process and stuff and at the second day break i had gone out for a walk and as i was coming home this woman walks out of her door at the same moment i'm ascending the stairway to her floor. And I look at her and I go, hi, who are you? I mean, how do you greet someone like that? You know, <laughs> and she goes, uh, I'm Liliana, who are you? And I go, I'm Shana. And she goes, 
Shana, that's my last name. And I go, Liliana, that's my mother's middle name. Oh my goodness, we have to talk. <laughs> Within seconds, we were talking about why are we here? We haven't met anybody. She was, she was telling me in her words, my prayer. Absolutely and, amazing. Uh, okay, Absolutely. let's get together and we'll talk. So I went back to my course immediately. The next meditation I got, start a meetup group. It's time now to start having people in the area come to do the happiness meditation with me. Five people I sent texts to, five instant responses. Yes, I'll be there. It's, that's it. It's so beautiful. And, I'm like, and I thought I didn't have any friends. This is, yeah. So, it, 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 yeah, and it, 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 when, the time, when the time's right, the impulse hits. And then- And you, you follow, know, right? Yeah, yeah following it not it's knowing beautiful happen, but and now that group i've had over 15 people come through 10 people just signed up for ne the next one i'm like oh my god this is yay you that's know so cool that's but, it's yeah, beautiful i'm so happy because that's what i want to do i want to gather so we can create a focused energy frequency yes yes Even if it's just one time i'm not looking for followers or people you know to to take on what i'm committed to no i just that one moment that's all i want if that's all i get is that we're in the same frequency at the same time absolutely and then as you connect together i, I sure you won't be the last time you guys will do amazing things in that area and it's it's just beautiful that's yeah. that that's a that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story. And that's uh, to watch it, you know, yep. let, you know, let's talk in six months and see what's going on then, you know, to see. How I, I, absolutely. Like I literally had that a very, very, such a similar, everything you're saying. I'm like, yep. I, uh, I have a weird sleeping schedule right now for a lot of various reasons. And I live in Las Vegas. And so things are open 24 hours um, here. So one night I was sitting here and I haven't been leaving my house because of the whole mass thing and just this whole, this whole thing. And I've been doing a lot of work and stuff, but I got this guidance to go to a restaurant to grab some, some food. And I was like, I don't really want to do that, but it was really strong guidance. I go and I I'm at the bar and I'm having this food and this bartender comes up to me and I looked at her and she looked at me and we didn't know each other, but we just started joking around like right away. And she got me food and, and she's like, she's like, you know, there's some things you really need to get your stuff together. And I was like, but her energy was fun. So I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, that's true. And so we started having this whole conversation. Shana, I kid you not her last name. She told me her name and her last name is Quinn Q U I N N. My dad's, my, my grandma on my dad's side, her last name is Quinn. Her maiden name, my grandma's maiden name is Quinn. I was like, wow, my, my, my dad's side of the family, mom, grandma's last name is Quinn, came over from Iowa, my, or from Ireland, Iowa. Came over from, now I am getting tired, but he, he came over from Ireland, he was a potato farmer and he ended up you know, committing suicide. She goes, what was his name? And I, I said, I think it was Joe, but I'm not sure. She goes, okay, I have a family member that I'm pretty sure that came over from, from, from Ireland. There was a potato farmer named Joe that committed suicide. So she goes, I think we might be like long distance family. And I'm like, no freaking way. Oh, and God. so we haven't stayed in much contact, but I, I still have her information and I've been waiting for the impulse to contact her and I'm going to contact her and we're going to figure it out. But even the last name, I mean, just the, the connection. And it's like, you just, for me, it's like, it just tears instantly come down and I'm like, Oh, I'm, you know, I'm at this place that you didn't in my French fries, but you know, it's just like, if you follow the impulses and the guidance, amazing things happen. And they could look like, a, sometimes they can look like a total disaster on the surface. And in the end, of course, you look back and you're like, Oh, of course that had to happen. You know, and, uh, and there's another thing, too, that, that's really interesting is when you uh, say you join a group, say it's a church group or, or, or some, something social group that really sounds exciting to you, and you take a, a, have a conversation with the person who started it, they yes. decided 
And even if they, even if you only listen to the story to hear, did they get guided? You may, they may not say that, but it was there. Mm -hmm. because we're only human and sometimes we're followers and sometimes we're leaders yes and when we're at a at a juxtaposition in our life usually that's when the the uh guidance will come in nice and strong absolutely yeah this is an amazing conversation i love having i i it, we could talk like this for hours and hours and hours i love it i love it too I love you, sweetheart, and I'm really, really happy that we got a chance to do this. I love you too, and, and me too, and I'm going to have you on my podcast once I once I figure out how to interview people and do all that stuff. You can probably help me with that, um, but I would love to have you on, and I'd love to have this conversation in that form as well, and just just because um, we got to just keep talking about it. And, right, we got. And then we'll, we'll even have more experiences that we can be like, oh my God, guess what happened. Absolutely. but it, it, it's so beautiful absolutely so let me have one more little tidbit you'd like to share with people on mastering the moment what would you like to say i think i'm gonna i'm probably gonna repeat what i said earlier because i think it's vital because we don't because as much as we are having fun and joking around we are at a very we are at a juxtaposition on this planet and it is imperative that that people find a way to get connected because when you do get connected you feel truth you feel truth as a vibration and there are a lot of forces out there that are trying to not trying to they are using frequencies and different things to to manipulate people and it's not it's not good so you got to find a way to get connected and then seek out somebody that is connected to, to help you just to have have conversations because again it's one thing to hear the guidance it's another thing to follow it when it's kind of crazy and and you gotta you gotta you gotta be in groups together you can't do it alone you yeah. gotta do it you gotta do it with god or the divine or 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 source but you gotta do it with your group of people your your spiritual family you know your the group that you're forming and i think that it's it's naturally gonna to have that because sometimes you know and our minds are, can be so strong, or they can be so strong, and they'll, they'll be like, oh, that guidance that you got, no, you can't do that because if this will happen or that'll happen, it's bad, bad, bad. And you just have to tell it to shut the F up <laughs> and follow the guidance. That's my tidbit. No question. That's beautiful. Beautiful advice <laughs> from the wise guide. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're like, your advice is to tell them to shut the F up? Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> Yes, my, my podcast is called Wise Guide, Wise, and then G-U-I for Wise Guy, because people call me Wise Guy or Not So Wise, and then I did apostrophe D, so it's like a guide, but I, I don't know, kind of fun play on words, so. It's a fun play on words, and I love those. Yes, so I'm excited yeah. about it, and um, I'm definitely going to have you on, and anytime you want to do this, I'm, I, we can do a whole series. I, I, I it, you know, we haven't even hung out that often. I mean, being in your house in California and stuff, but I just like, we're family. I can feel it. I love it. I know. And Ashlyn, remember when you came and, and yes. you and Emily did that program mm -hmm. that was so good for us. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, so, yes. Um, thank you again very much. I want you to get some sleep. <laughs> I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to drink a bunch of water and go to bed for a few hours. Yes. I'm gonna turn on I'm gonna turn on my sleep frequencies and yeah I'm out. So yeah. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so 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 much and love, love you. you dearly. Love you too. Bye. Bye.